Good morning, praise the Lord. Uh, wish you all a happy, God-filled new year. God bless you. God willing, I want to continue our daily devotions this year by studying about the different characters God introduced to us in the Bible. Hope you'll like it. Uh, today being January 1st, we'll, we'll have to make several decisions. Maybe one of the decisions might be to follow the characters in the Bible and to understand them. Why uh, God kept those characters? Why did he mention those names in the Bible? Every name has a meaning. Every name has a purpose in the Bible. So we have to decide on this. Uh, in 2 Timothy 3, 6, 16 and 17, Paul says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. So we have to learn a lot from the Bible. In creation, God introduced amazing variety in the creatures that he made, but he created man in his own image and likeness and gave him dominion over his creation. He also gave them free will, which was misused in spite of several warnings. Because of this, he is facing the consequences. While we study about them, we observe that some people made good choices while others made bad choices. And through these devotions, I want to remind you that Jesus himself told us uh, in Matthew 13, 47 and 48, please read uh, Matthew 13 completely, then you'll understand what uh, Jesus wants us to understand. He, say, he, he said in 47, 48 uh, verses, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet that was cast into the sea and gathered some of every kind, which when it was full, they drew it to shore and they sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but threw away the threw the bad away. In the same manner, we have to see what all is there in the Bible, uh, absorb the good ones and uh, delete the bad ones, and see that we don't have the bad characters in our lives. In the same manner, we'll see as many characters as possible, even the bad ones, because Paul in First uh, Corinthians ten eleven says that all these things happened to them as examples and they were written for our admonition upon whom the ends of the ages have come. We, we are at the end age. We are in the last stages of our lives uh, because second coming is fast approaching. So we have to uh, gather as much uh, information and learn so many things from the Bible. Our world is desperately, desperately in need of authentic models worth following. People of integrity whose lives inspire us to do better, to climb higher and to stand taller in God's sight. At the same time, the bad characters reveal to us what God doesn't like in us and so avoid those qualities. So let's get ready to study different characters from the Bible and learn several th things from them. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for giving us a new year in our lives, Lord. Please help us to... Be useful to others and develop our characters. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. Amen. God bless you.